Thank you for purchasing your EDM Primary Twin 960 Series Engine Data Management System. This evolution of the legendary 900 series, the 6 inch wide screen, allows the 960 to fit in most panels. The 960 incorporates a full VGA enhanced TFT screen that is four times brighter than a laptop. Each fuel gauge has a dual indicator that can show four different tank levels at once. The EDM 960 is the only full fuel TSO system in its class. The EDM 960 displays engine measurements on an LCD screen and a remote dot matrix auxiliary display called the RAD. Two RADs are supplied with the system. The custom key card activates your engine monitor for aircraft configurations. This card contains the primary engine instrument data. The fuel quantity gauges will not be present on the display until the installer has calibrated the fuel table for your aircraft. Four operating buttons control all functions of the EDM 960. Sometimes we will refer to the numbers 1 through 4 from left to right. These buttons can change labels depending on the current state of the EDM 960. The term tap is used to denote pressing a button momentarily. The term hold is used to denote pressing and holding a button for 5 seconds or longer. Buttons 1 plus 2 function like the EDM 760, with the button 1 stepping through menus and button 2 starting lean find mode. Button 3 allows you to dim and brighten the screen, and button 4 lets you select the scanner auto sequence. When in program mode, the buttons will be relabeled. You must always inform the EDM how much usable fuel is on board. At Power Up, you will see Refuel at the lower left of the screen. Tap Refuel if you refueled the aircraft, otherwise tap Exit. Tap Save to accept Main. If you filled only the main tanks, all other tanks are empty. Tap the Next button to see Main plus Aux. Tap the Next button to see Adjust plus zero gallons if you only added a partial amount of fuel. Tap Save button to accept the displayed value and exit. The display screen is arranged into three sections. At the top is the RPM and manifold pressure section. The bottom left is the scanner section. And the right side is the bar graphs section. The upper semicircular bar graph shows the MAP and the lower semicircular bar graph shows the RPM. These are shown both graphically and digitally. Operations exceeding red line cause the digital value to turn red. Percent horsepower is displayed digitally below the digital MAP on both sides of the display. The bar graph section contains seven dedicated bar graphs with corresponding digital displays. Power settings exceeding red line are displayed by a message in the scanner section. When you first turn on the power, the EDM 960 starts in the manual mode, but will enter the automatic mode after a few minutes. You don't have to touch any buttons. The automatic mode provides you with engine monitoring information for the majority of flight conditions. When adjusting the mixture, use the lean find mode. To display specific measurements, use the manual mode. To activate manual scan mode, tap Step. In either automatic or manual modes, the analog display shows a scanner bar graph of EGT and CHT for each cylinder and the TIT. Return to automatic mode by pushing LF then Step. Let's jump in and see how it works in more detail. Let's examine the scanner section analog display. On the left side of the display, in blue, is the exhaust gas temperature, or EGT, bar graft presentation. The height of each column represents the EGT. The TIT is in the center for both displays. In white is the cylinder head temperature, or CHT, bar graft presentation. The CHT temperatures are above each bar. 
Below each column is a number corresponding to the engine cylinder number. A square surrounding the cylinder number indicates which cylinder is being displayed on this numerical display. Beneath the bar graph is the alphanumeric display, which will give you EGT and CHT of each boxed cylinder. All the additional parameters not shown will be displayed beneath each bar graph except the EGT and CHT. Turbine inlet temperatures, TIT, light blue columns, are labeled with a T below them and TIT between the digital display at the same scale as the EGT. TIT red line is depicted by red horizontal lines between the left and right engine bar graph groups. OAT is shown separately above the fuel flow. To select normalize or standard views, hold the LF button for three seconds until the NRM icon appears or disappears respectively. When you activate Normalize, the analog EGT display is normalized to half scale. When using the Normalize view, during engine runup, a fouled spark plug will appear as a higher EGT column. Even though the dimming is automatic, the dim button will adjust the display brightness. The 960 gives you a choice of three display indexing options as selected by the EGT fuel flow button. The EGT position will display only temperature related measurements. The fuel flow position will display only the fuel flow related measurements and the all position will display all measurements. This symbol will help you synchronize your engines. The sync symbol will turn left or right as you sync your props, then disappear. Your EDM960 can also be configured for different engines, including radials.